What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we have a lot of stuff to go through. Happy Friday, hope everyone had a good week and is excited for the weekend. We are going to be opening another one of these Pikaram tins as well as announcing our next giveaway. Uh, so we'll kind of do the same thing, we're going to start it on Friday and then announce the winner on Monday and this, this time the thing we're going to be giving away is the one of these mini tins and this time it's going to be the squirtle magikarp one uh so definitely stay tuned for the uh, instructions on how to do it and we'll kind of just kind of go through that as we go through this video so let's jump into the opening all right let's get into this pikachu zekrom box and uh just like a random thing is that uh, I recently recorded uh, some stuff and when I copied the files from my phone to the computer it didn't like copyright and unfortunately I did like a, a cut instead of a copy so like all that all those uh, video files were lost and I was very upset about that. Um, the silver lining is that none of the openings were actually that good. Uh, it was like a bunch of so but however it does mean that we kind of like open a bunch of product and don't have any footage of it which I'm not happy about um, but it, a lot of it was on the Yu-Gi-Oh side and uh, we didn't get any good hits uh, so still love these Metal GX things and as always we have our four packs let's put these off to the side and here is the Pikachu Zekrom this is by far my favorite one. I just think it looks awesome. Very nice. So, let's go through a couple packs. We'll, as always, we're going to start with evolutions. Let's see, what do we want? Yeah, I think, um, I think I'm feeling a Blastoise right now. How about a Mega Blastoise EX? Or Blastoise EX or the Mega. All right, let's see. We got Misty's Determination, Revive, Hunter, Magikarp, nice, Yasli, Santru, Weedle, Tangela, a lot of classic art, Caterpie Reverse. Oh, <laughs> guys, we were close. We were very close to calling it. Um, so we have a Mega Venusaur instead of that Mega Blastoise. So that is quite a nice hit. Actually, this card is actually, in my opinion, it's really good too. Or that's that's a crazy high energy cost, but to be paralyzed and poisoned, that's, that's quite powerful. So, all right, let's move on to Forbidden Lights. All right, these these tins, they I feel like they almost always deliver. So, as far as tins, I think this is by far my favorite one. Although. Again, we kind of lost, or we opened some, and I kind of lost the footage, so very upset about that. Let's see, we got a Go-Goat, Didene, Dewpiter, Scatterbug, Inke, Gumi, <laughs> Gumi. Uh, I feel like that happens so often. <laughs> Meowstic, and then a Dragalge, Dra Dragalge. But for, I feel like that happens a lot for Forbidden Light. I can't, I'm not sure how many Gumis there are, but when it comes to, like, a lot of sets have multiple of the um, base version. And however, Forbidden Light, I feel like I keep getting go multiple Gumis, like, back to back. Uh, so, real quick, uh, about the instructions on how to enter this uh, Squirtle Tin giveaway. Um, so as always, just you do have to be subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button and then leave a comment down below. And I kind of want to hear, uh, you know, what was the first set that got you into the Pokemon TCG? Uh, and what about it, that set that kind of got you hooked? Um, for myself, uh, it was right in the beginning on base set. And I think the first pack that... Uh, between myself and my older brother like we only had one pack and actually we opened a Alex exam I don't remember because like we we're in elementary school but I I imagine it was actually first edition but I think we traded it because we didn't even know what first edition was and I think it was for a Gyarados instead um, but that's what got me hooked and then my cousin kind of had the two-player um, uh, starter deck that had like the Machamp the first edition Machamp and then had like Charmander Charmeleon and it kind of you could kind of like play with those 
and that, that's definitely what got me hooked and then uh, I think right around the Neo era was when I kind of uh, stopped and it wasn't until very recently we're in like the Burning Shadows set that kind of got me rehooked uh, where I started seeing some videos on YouTube and it was like that that hyper rare Charizard I was like oh my gosh this thing's so epic and then I kind of like uh, started looking to uh, starting my restarting my collection and that so that's kind of what got me those two sets base set and then Burning Shadows um, kind of uh, re- got me started and restarted into the Pokemon TCG. So again, to enter that giveaway, just make sure you uh, subscribe, like, and uh, l- let me know in the comment below kind of like which set it was that for you that kind of got you hooked onto the TCG and you'll be entered to win the uh, Squirtle Tin. And again, we'll kind of announce the winner on Monday. So be sure to do that over the weekend. And uh, yeah, let's finish this opening. So we have team up and yes they're like this again all right might have saw something man if, if it is like this is a crazy tin all right let's see we got a water energy rapidash evelyn nanu squirtle very nice tentacool the suspect grimer pidgey the dratini and then a reverse Magikarp, nice. And then for our rare, we have, ooh, Nanu. Wow, Seeker rare. This box is so good. Uh, let's see, um, do I want a perfect fit? Let me see, this is a perfect fit. Yes, it is. In case you didn't know, uh, so the way I usually sleeve like the Seeker rares is first I put a perfect fit and I put it upside down. And then I put the, so these are both KMC. Uh, and you can get a good amount of them for pretty cheap on Amazon. But uh, so when you double sleeve it, um, I mean, I feel like they're pretty protected. And then, uh, but it's just an additional layer of protection. And oh man, so there we have it, a secret rare Nanu. The I think I already have one of him though. <laughs> but that is quite a good pull, and what a good tin. Definitely happy we decided to open it. And for our last pack, we have a Pikachu Zekrom pack art. And here's the code card. All right, no spoilers this time. All right, can we go? So, so far we are two for two for three. And we have the promo, which is a awesome promo. So can't believe that they, they just give that in the tin. Magikarp, Zorua, very cute. The sweater Larvitar. Splashing around Psyduck, Vulpix, and then a B-Sharp. I didn't realize that was the reverse rare. So, all right, very, very strong opening. Um, we have our, as always, the Pikachu Zekrom Tag Team GX. We did pull a Mega Venusaur EX. Uh, we almost called it, we called it the Blastoise, but we got the Venusaur, so I'm very happy with that. And then we have the Full Art Nanu. Um, you see, he has a pretty creepy look. I didn't realize how creepy he, he looks. And uh, yeah, so guys, we are giving away this um, uh, Squirtle Magikarp tin. And again, the instructions to enter would be to uh, make sure you subscribe, comment, or uh, hit that like button, and then comment below what was the uh, which set kind of got you hooked, or what basically got you hooked in this if it wasn't a specific set, whether it was stuff like um, you know collecting some vintage PSA stuff or whatever that may be. Let me know in a comment, and uh, I do like it when people share stories. It's just really nice to read some of them, and you'll be entered in that giveaway. Uh, other than that, guys, hope everyone has a good weekend, and I'm a Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. All right, guys, here's a above view of the new playmat. It looks just incredible. Uh, we have Pikachu Zekrom battling Celebi Venusaur. Yeah, so this is by Stay Classy LLC. Link in description. And again, if you do go opt to get one of your own, uh, I'm imagine when you purchase, you can leave a comment. Just let you let them know that uh, I sent you over there. I would appreciate that. Again, I'm not, uh, definitely not associated with them by any means. Uh, but yeah, I think this looks awesome. And I think on the Reddit post, it, I found it because they were looking to create one with uh, Reshiram Charizard. I think it was maybe uh battling Lu- um lucario and mel metal so that one looked